In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the AWeber autoresponder service. And the first thing to do is to come to the sign up page, the home page, which is aweber.com. And at the time that I'm making this video, they have an offer going where you can sign up for just $1. So I'm going to come over here and click on the big green button here that says sign up for just $1. And you can see $1 trial account and then you'll be charged $1 for the first month and 19 on a recurring monthly basis after your trial. But if you're not completely satisfied you can get a no hassle refund within 30 days. So okay what we can do here is first of all you can have either the monthly pricing plan, quarterly or you can have it yearly. I'm just going to have the monthly plan for this demonstration so I've selected monthly. Next thing I need to do is enter details here to create my account. They want a login name, first name, last name, email address, telephone number and then I'll need to fill in my billing details and then click on I agree complete my order. So I'll just do that now And after you've completed the information and clicked on the button, it will take you through to this window. And it'll also send you an email with your password and so on. And once that's done, you can then get started with the autoresponder service. So click on here to say, let's get started. It takes you through to this page and there are some training materials that you can access here there's some videos and PDFs and so on and you can do a subscriber search and you can get the statistics for your lists and so on um, I'm using kind of small screen resolution here to get everything in so there is actually more information off to the left which you can't see on this particular video okay let's create a list so click on this button here takes you through to this page and you've got the basic information there's the list name which is set automatically you can set your own name but I'm going to leave it as it is then you can give a list description so let's call this the main list then there's the from name that's the name which will appear as the sender and then there's the email address it says you should avoid using free addresses like AOL.com and Yahoo.com and if I was doing this for real I would have the contact address with my website URL on there but I'm actually not going to do that um, for this demonstration I'm going to leave it as this Gmail account okay scroll down a bit here then you have the notifications and this is where an email will be sent when someone subscribes to your list you can enter that in there or you can use the default one that you set up when you opened your account I'm going to leave it with the default one for the moment so click here on save settings okay now let's add some messages in so add a follow-up message and we're going to create a follow-up message here click on create a new follow-up message and we're going to insert the subject name here and let's say thank you for subscribing and then you can enter your message in there you can either have a template like they have here for an HTML message you can see we've got it here or you could just simply send it as a plain basic template which is just the just the information and personally I prefer to put it this way than anywhere else you can enter your message in here best to write it out in your word processor first you need to have HTML and you can also have a plain text message as well. You can also attach a file 
and say when you want it to be sent normally you would send the first email immediately as soon as someone has signed up you can also track the clicks and then you can preview and save your message in there. Let me just uh, copy and paste a message from my word processor and there we go that's in there now one thing you can also do with this is to personalize the message so that it looks like it's being addressed to the subscriber directly instead of just being sent out to everybody and the way you do it is very simple first of all put your salutation and then click on this link here that says personalize and you can see there's all these different things that you can add in and it's a bit like if you use mail merge on your word processor so I'm going to have first name and now there we go it says hi first name thanks for signing up here's the link to your first video download and what we can do is highlight that and insert the link by clicking on this icon here okay you put in the link text in here and then you can copy and paste the URL in there and then click on insert and there we go there's our first link put in you do the same with this one okay that's done let's just preview it as I come down to the bottom here I can preview the message and there we go I need to put another space there between from and PK zip let me just correct that I just put the space in here I think or maybe there there we go that'd be better and again preview it there we are now that's ready to go close that and save the message and there we go your message has been saved and you can see it's now in the uh, follow-up message box here and then I can click on this button here to uh, set up more follow-up messages. Of course no one's going to get the message if they don't know how to sign up so come over here to the web forms tab and take you to this page and you can create a new web form just by clicking on this green button there. You can see here step one is to design the look of your web form and you can have a uh, various ones that you can select here. Let's have uh, barbecue It gives you an idea as to what it'll look like. Click on load template. You can edit the header by clicking here. There you go. Get your free barbecue video now. Just complete the box below. So click on save. There we go. I mean, go to step two which is the settings and you can customize your web form properties whether you, you give the form a name which is my web form the thank you page I'm just going to leave it as the basic version and likewise if someone's already subscribed so we can go to step three which is to publish the form to your website it says you must save your form for, before it can be published so we'll save the web form there we go and then you can say whether you want your web designer or whether you're going to install your web form yourself I'm going to say I will install my form 
and I'm going to have the raw HTML version which is there and what I can then do is highlight this and copy it and then paste it into my website and then people can sign up for my mailing list on my website. In this short video we've only really been able to scratch the surface of what you can do with a Weber. There really are a lot of other things that we've not had time to show you but the information in this video should be enough to help you get started and I wish you every success.